mouvement politique d'unité et d'action pour notre pays. As French President Emmanuel Macron pledges to create a united France, analysis from pollsters shows French citizens are split. Votes for France's next president were divided depending on age, background and region. The incumbent president gained support from large prosperous cities such as Toulouse and Paris, whilst the far-right Marine Le Pen won over rural areas, particularly the post-industrial northeast. Macron came out on top amongst the over 70s with around 38% of the vote, but left-wing France and Baud leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon and far-right Marine Le Pen were the favourites amongst the under 35s. The younger generation's ballots are crucial for Macron in the next round, but he's so far failed to win them over. Really, there is this anger amongst young people that does exist. Now it is the great unknown. I think that if Emmanuel Macron creates a campaign to try and win over the younger generation, it actually risks doing the opposite. Amongst workers, Le Pen received 35% of the blue-collar vote whilst Macron won over the same percentage amongst managerial employees. Macron, Le Pen and Mélenchon are the only candidates to have received at least 10% of the vote. It confirms the shift that began in French politics and amongst French voters in 2017, this first round of elections facing its highest abstention rate since 2002. Opinion polls suggest the runoff between Macron and Le Pen in the final round could be much closer.